you're amazing. There is a topic that has been coming up a lot in my community, and I want to talk to you about it tonight, and that is blood sugar. So if your doctor has told you that you have insulin resistance, or maybe you received a diabetes diagnosis, then this message is for you. And I actually know how devastating it can be because as a child, <clears throat> excuse me, I had the tendency to faint in the middle of a normal task. And then I remember a morning really distinctly that uh, my mom called an ambulance for me because I'd passed out in the bathroom while I was getting ready for school. And that was the day that I received the diagnosis called hypoglycemia. Now that just means low blood sugar. And I was seven years old at the time I was diagnosed. What my doctors did tell me, or my parents at the time, is that I would probably have diabetes by the time I was 30 years old. And no one told me how to avoid it. I didn't really even have a sweet tooth at the time, but I got older and older and it's something that I ended up developing. Of course, if you've heard my story, then you know about my sugar addiction issues. But my grandmother was actually a diabetic from the time she was 30 years on, and she's still a diabetic to this day. And I watched this disease process destroy her life or much of it. And I didn't really want to end up in the same situation the older I got. So before we move on, I want to share this with you because I feel like the message is really important. If I hear something over and over, then I want you to know a little bit about it too. And with my clients, there's a lot of people that are worried about diabetes, especially when we start looking at their labs. There's two different types of diabetes and one of those is type one. This post is, it doesn't mean it's not gonna be helpful for you if you have type one diabetes, but it's gonna require that you take insulin for the rest of your life. And you can definitely apply some of the lifestyle steps I'm gonna tell you about today. But what I really wanna to talk to you about is those who have type two diabetes, those who have insulin resistance, because type two diabetes is an epidemic and it is affecting about 29 million people in the US today. And it happens because the glucose in our blood is elevated and it really causes a dysfunction in our insulin and our leptin hormones. So it causes issues in every single organ system of the body. And science has really come a long way in helping us understand what's causing it, how we can prevent it. But the thing is, is that there's a lot of misinformation out there too circling around. So I wanna give a little bit of clarity on that tonight for those of you who are suffering. So people receive a diagnosis of diabetes and they're told that they have to take medication forever. And this is a lifestyle condition. So it's not that we necessarily have to take medication forever. And I wanna show you a way out of this today. So you've likely been told if you have diabetes or if you have insulin resistance that you will have to take your medication or that your disease process is gonna get worse. And this is what they're taught in medical school. And it's also taught by the American Diabetes Association. But what's not taught is that there is a functional approach to nutrition um, where we implement nutrition, exercise, things like stress reduction, toxin removal. And when we give the body what it needs, then we can completely reverse diabetes. Of course, that's going to require, if you do that, that you continue those lifestyle habits. But in honesty, like, why would you choose anything else? Why would you choose medication over doing something good and healthy for your life? So you've probably also been told that diabetes is genetic. And truth is, yep, it does run in families. The thing about diseases that run in families, though, it's very interesting. These diseases typically develop because of environmental factors. The environmental factors are what actually runs in families. And this is things like diet or a poor diet, toxic habits, viruses, chronic stress, lack of exercise. And there's a lot of other negative lifestyle factors that are actually causing disease processes as well. So I work with people every single day who reverse diabetes and diseases like them naturally. I'm living proof that this can happen as well. So just know that it can. It can happen for me. If it can happen for me, it can happen for you. So the third thing that you've likely been told is that medications are gonna stabilize your blood sugar. So you really don't have to worry about anything as long as you take your medication. Now, this is one that I really have an issue with because medications deal with the symptoms of disease. 
they never address the underlying cause. And this means that they're actually masking the problem. So you may be told to watch your blood sugar, watch your intake of sugar and all those things, and then medicate accordingly. And if your blood sugar gets too high, then just increase your dose. So the thing about that is, is it's not very logical. If we think about a headache, for example, and we say, oh, well, take your Tylenol if you have a headache, and then don't take your Tylenol if you don't have a headache, then, I mean, sure, that makes sense, I guess, a little bit, but diabetes is a little bit more serious condition than a headache in most cases. So, and we're really comparing it to a headache the way that we treat it. The problem with both of those is that you never resolve the problem by covering up the symptom. And this is true for really any disease process. And this is why I feel like conventional medicine gets chronic disease wrong so many times. Blood sugar imbalances mean that there's a dysfunction in the body somewhere. And when you bring those hormones into balance and you address things like weight gain, inflammation, other disease processes um, in the body, then when you start bringing those things into balance, then your blood sugar is gonna come back into balance as well. So if you've been told that you have insulin resistance or diabetes, I'm sure you're wondering where in the world I'm going with this today. Well, first of all, I want you to know that if you're taking a medication for diabetes, don't stop because you hear this post. But um, what happens when you're taking that medication is that the extra sugar that you're taking in is now gonna be stored as fat. And you're going to start getting weight gain. This is why you have cardiovascular problems. It leads to other health conditions. And it's also important for you to know that diabetic patients spend about $13,000 in medical supplies every single year. And if you look at it like that and you're worried about it from a financial impact, this is really a good time to contact someone like me who can help you actually save a little bit of money this year and give you an opportunity to live in health. So if you want to do things on your own first, I completely understand that. And that is the point of this post tonight is to help you understand how you can balance your blood sugars naturally and hopefully help you not need some of the medications or conventional treatments that you may be using today. So if you need help in that area, then I'm going to give you five ways that you can get started. Number one is make sure that you're consuming the right types of carbohydrates. So there's refined carbohydrates. There's, those are things like your simple carbs, your uh, processed foods. And then those are going to be the ones that raise your insulin a little bit faster. And then there's foods that are high in fiber. Those are things like your non-starchy vegetables. They are actually going to slow the rate that insulin is raised. Also, if you're eating large meals, if you're eating all the time, then you're going to cause a surge in your insulin as well. So the key here is really making sure that you're balancing your plate appropriately so that you're getting the right amounts of carbs, fats, and proteins for your unique metabolism. And that's going to help stabilize your blood sugar. I actually created a guide. So if you don't have that, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that you get access to that. But it's really a guide that was, help, um, that was created to help you stabilize your energy, your mood, and it really helps with those food cravings. So the second thing I want you to know is that you gotta exercise. You gotta get your booty in shape. So exercise is gonna create healthy stress on the body as long as you're not overdoing it. And it's one of the most important things that you can do to lower leptin and insulin resistance. And of course, I'm gonna tell you why that's important. And that's because um, every time you eat, insulin transports your blood sugar to your fat cells and it actually activates their metabolism and it produces a hormone called leptin. Leptin, stay with me, it signals the brain that you're full. So it means you've eaten enough food and excess amounts of blood sugar is going to eventually be stored as fat. You're going to see an elevation in your triglycerides and this is what leads to leptin resistance and it prevents your brain from getting the message that says that you're full. So in the end, triglycerides increase, you gain more weight, it's a vicious cycle. The third thing I want you to know is you gotta get proper sleep. So your body actually goes through a natural detoxification process through the night. Your um, liver will start to detox about 11 p.m. Now that's according to Chinese medicine. So when there's an imbalance in your blood sugar and fat begins to accumulate, it actually causes 
damage to the liver. This fat is going to clog up your liver's, liver, liver's metabolism. And this is really going to cause you to have those super high blood sugars. And many times that's what is leading you to crash between those meals. And it leads to you feeling hangry. So rest is really important for you to let your body heal naturally. And your body is going to go through that natural detoxification process if you're setting your body up for good sleep. The fourth thing I want you to know is that you got to simplify your life. And stress reduction practices play a really big role here. And I talk about some of those, um, but really simple things, that's all you have to do. You can take a walk in nature, you can give hugs, you can laugh, you can go and nurture your positive relationships. All that is going to take you a long way when it comes to your health. And it balances your blood sugar because if you're stressed, you actually drive up the blood sugar. So you want to do those calming activities to make sure that you're creating balance. And then the last thing I want to leave you with is you can take a really good multivitamin or a supplement that's going to help um, give you the nutrients that you need every single day to help keep your blood sugar levels balanced. So you want to make sure that you're eating really nutrient dense foods, not those white processed foods. But if you're struggling with that, then you can use a really delicious green powder, something that's gonna help add in those additional nutrients and it'll take you a long way. If you need access to those, I can help you out there as well. So take a look at your labs. If you haven't run those in a while, you wanna make sure that you're doing that on a regular basis. Your blood sugar imbalances, those are something that you can catch really early on. If your doctor tells you that you have insulin resistance and or we're just gonna watch your blood sugar, no, 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 that is not a good thing to do. Make sure that you're implementing these five tools that I gave you today um, if your doctor has told you that because it means that there's going to be things that are going to come later on down the road that can cause you a lot more problems. So you want to take care of that early while you're still in that prevention phase. So if you need access to any of the resources that I mentioned in this video, please feel free to reach out to me um, and I will make sure that you have access to the tools that you need to live your best life and enjoy the rest of your awesome evening.